Welcome to Electro Online. Some of you may have already noticed there is quite a bit of symmetry in a binomial expansion. And so when we take took a look and see that we can actually find the numerical coefficients using this method, and we realize that the top number here corresponds to the exponent of our binomial expansion, and then we said that the bottom number corresponds to the, the, the exponent of the second letter B. But it turns out it can actually also be the exponent of the first letter A. And notice that if I use B squared or A squared, the numerical coefficient is identical. So this number at the bottom can actually be the exponent of either the first term or the second term. It doesn't matter. And then when you take the difference, 6 minus, four, uh, six minus 2, which is equal to 4, that would be the exponent of the other number. And again, notice you have A to the fourth B squared a squared b to the fourth is just the two numbers reversed and we get the exact same numerical coefficient. So it really doesn't matter which exponent or which term of the binomial you, you consider when you take a look at the bottom number. That's the perfect symmetry in the binomial expansion. So let's go ahead and work it out and certainly the result of this should equal the number 15. So in the numerator we get 6 factorial so this is 6 factorial divided by uh, 2 factorial times 6 minus 2, which is 4 factorial. So without even writing that, you could simply say 6 minus 2 equals 4 factorial, and that's what we need to work out. Now notice that 6 factorial can be written as 6 times 5 times 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 4 factorial. And then you see that the 4 factorials cancels out. And so we're left with 6 times 5 divided by 2, which is equal to 30 divided by 2, which is equal to 15. And sure enough, 15 is the numerical coefficient of both of those terms. That's why that perfect symmetry in the binomial expansion works so nicely for us. It doesn't matter. The top number is equal to the exponent of our binomial expansion. The bottom number is the exponent of either the first or the second term in our binomial. And that is how it's done.